eight o'clock uh, on Tuesday, eight o'clock UK time, on Tuesday, the 19th of January. So sorry, I totally forgot to post a reminder about tonight's brewing of leather. It's not that I forgot, I just forgot to tell you. I forgot to give you a wee nudge. Anyway, um, oh gosh, I was, uh, there's so much, so many things I've been planning to do. Can you believe it? Well, yes, you probably can, because you know what I'm like by now. Anyway, um, I've got my cup of tea. Yes, that's the most important thing. And I can't believe it's been two weeks since I last unveiled, or first even, unveiled the idea of the Squeak Show. Been living, breathing, sleeping, dreaming, getting up, writing. Oh, it's been, it's been manic. It's been wonderful, though. It's been really wonderful. Lorna, you're on the call. Lovely to see you. And Nate as well, if he's with you. Hello there. And, oh, Jenny, you're here too. Lovely to hear from you as well. Ah, do you know, it's just... It's lovely to have these sessions. It feels a bit different today. Oh, I don't have the main light on. That's why I've just got my little overhead light, which is making everything look quite, oh, what will it be? Quite um, eh, atmospheric, I think. Yes. And um, we have Vicky here as well. And Nick has joined us again. Do you know, it's just like being old chums again. I nearly, now I know I was on time today for once, or just, just pretty much about but I nearly I nearly tried setting up a room because I see that the option to do that is back so I might try that just as an experiment see whether that's any better than doing the live chat we'll see probably not because there's I don't know how many of you are actually on the call most weeks probably maybe maybe a dozen maybe not even as many as that whatever it is it's the perfect number anyway so yes it's ah uh, so gosh I hope you've all been well and and keeping happy and smiling and not watching the news and all the rest of it. Um, it's just Squeak Show has been filling my existence and my dreams and my whatevers and uh, it's it's going really well. So, bit of housekeeping first of all. Is it housekeeping? Not really. I don't actually do any housekeeping in here. Do you know? I was thinking that the other day. She said, disappearing off on a tangent as per usual. I, you know, we've got beautiful, there are beautiful floorboards in this. I mean, the whole mill has just been beautifully restored. And so I've got very dark, uh, well-worn, the, it's the original, um, the original floorboards. And it's, you know, it's been, um, I, I never, well, I, I brush, I sweep. I've got like a little dustpan and brush, but you can never actually see the muck. But anyway, why am I telling you all this? <sighs> Housekeeping, that was it. Right, I have, thank you very much to everybody who has joined the mailing list for Squeak Show and who then uh, put in their request for the very first Squeak Show mouse, which is a cosy wee snowball mouse in various hues and different coloured jumpers. Uh, I've sent out emails to everybody. I sent those out on Sunday. Um, most, quite a few, lot of you, not most of you, but quite a lot of you have replied and have uh, sent over your payment. Thank you very much. And those who haven't, check your spam folder in case you haven't had my email. And if you haven't, drop me a line and let me know. I know some of you have been in touch to say payment will be a little bit later. Perfect. That's fine. As long as I know that you've got the email. If not, I'll start, you know, I'll send out reminders or send out other, um, I'll send them out again, whatever. Anyway. Ah, right. Oh, we've got oh, we've got lots of people on the call tonight. Excellent. Jacqueline is on my partner in crime, along with Tabitha, my other partner in crime. I have quite a few partners in crime now. It's wonderful. Keeps me very good company. And Jacqueline was the recipient of an incredibly long email this morning where I just, this is the trouble. Do you know when you touch type, stream of consciousness, just blah, blah, blah. So uh, I know quite a few of you have probably been at the receiving end of my very lengthy emails. Um, and sometimes you're not on the recipient or you're not on the receiving end of any at all because I have forgotten or um, anyway. So lovely. We have also Viv too as well. And Carol too and MJ from San Diego. Yay. Go America just now. We're rooting for you. We're just, we're all with you. Lynn is here too. Lovely to see you too. Lynn is here. My goodness, we've got lots of people on the call. This is wonderful. It's always so nice. And Lynn, thank you very much for joining us again. And once again, I got the date and the time right, even though I may not have posted a timely reminder. Anyway, right. So, oh gosh, what to tell you today? The main thing 
is that I have organized, I'm going to be working with a wonderful photographer. And if you saw my reminder post, which was like eight minutes before I started the call, apologies again, you will have seen the link to Holly Gordon's photography page. Now, Holly was put in touch with me by uh, Rachel, who is in the group. And I've, I've known Rachel for many years. Uh, we first met at a craft fair at Salmsbury Hall, I believe, where she was there with her husband, who's another photographer, and I was there with the wee creatures and we've always kept in touch. So it was lovely to have that contact. Uh, and Holly's work is beautiful. She works with animals, real, real live animals, um, but she also do has done some small, smaller scale things, not quite as small as the wee creatures. So she's very much looking forward to getting involved. So do go have a look at her website. Have a well, have a look at her Facebook page. Her work is just stunning. She just has a way of seeing into the animal's soul and just capturing them perfectly. So I think it will just be a fantastic, fantastic collaboration. Yes, another one. I'm adding these wonderful peeps to the team, the squeak team. Team squeak. Maybe it should be. Anyway. So, oh, and uh, George says hello. That's from Jacqueline. Hello to George too. Lovely to see you. Um, right. So that's the main, that was the main thing. I was actually thinking about doing a, um, a demonstration tonight, but I've been on the computer all day and it's been all a bit manic. So I will do one next time, I promise, because I've there's so many ideas. But I know I made a cozy wee snowball mouse, over, you know, the last brew in a blether before Christmas. So and of course, I'm just up to my eyeballs uh, and up to my armpits and you know, no, no, let's not talk armpits, but I'm certainly very busy with the cozy wee snowball mice at the moment. One of the things which I might have said in one of my posts, I can't remember, um, but I will be making some other, you know, I'm going to be making other wee creatures, not mice or not so many mice. Um, sorry, if I'm beeping here, I'm trying to sort of not beep. I don't know how to not beep anyway. Um, yes, so I'll be making non mice wee creatures uh, to go into my shop every now and again. And I was thinking it'd be quite fun to deck out some of the non mice, well, the other wee creatures in uh, the sort of the paraphernalia for that month's, um, for, for the current month's uh, uh, squeak show creature. So that means, of course, cozy wee snowball fill in the gap. So I'll, I'm hoping to make um, some otters, uh, bunnies, guinea pigs, I've already done the penguins, did them before Christmas. Um, so yes, uh -huh, there'll be some, there'll be some other wee creatures. And uh, yeah, so it's, it's fun to, to have a little break away from the mice. Sorry, just can't, can't tell them that. Cover their ears. So anyway, that's the plan. Um, we'll see how it goes. Oh, God, goodness, do you know, I'm not scrolling down, down these comments, so do forgive me while I catch up. We have Rachel now here too. We have Jennifer, excellent squeak squad, like it, that's really good. Pamela, you've just joined us as well, thank you very much. And uh, yes, Rachel, you are definitely a squeak geek. Y Nate, I'm glad that you spotted, this is actually, Nate is Lorna's son. And they very kindly sent me some gifts over Christmas, which was wonderful. And I've kept them up. And although it's like not really Christmas anymore, but let me show you. So this is wonderful. Look at this. It's so, there we go. Merry Christmas, of course, which was the sort of the Christmas theme. Oh, there we go. That's better. You can see it better without my mug shining through. It's absolutely wonderful. So thank you again to you both. And of course, this is the absolutely gorgeous little, oh, it's a little mouse brooch which Nate chose out specially and it's perfect. So he keeps me company as well. So thank you very much for that. <sighs> right. Oh, Jenny, Jenny, you're after dragons again. <laughs> a cozy wee snowball dragon. Would, this, would the dragon not melt the snow? Hmm, I need to think about that. Uh, Veronica, hello there. Lovely to see you too. So... Right. The other thing there's I know I know I'm all full of, you know, the squeak show at the moment, but there's just so much fun going on just now. So much has happened since I last 
blethered at you and bubbled away at you over the ideas. I have got foam boards now to create the backgrounds for the scenery. Jacqueline has sent me a whole pile of gorgeous little um, like background papers to put on the backgrounds. I've been chatting away to Rachel. I'm just waiting to hear from her with her contributions to a couple of months. Um, I've had uh, all sorts of like extra accessories coming in and I've tried bits and pieces and I've taken some... It's wonderful. Now, Lorna, I must thank you again for uh, putting in a suggestion. She, she asked me last week, she said, oh, just wondered if you were going to do special tissue paper for the Squeak Show creatures. And I was like, oh, I hadn't thought about that, but what a good idea. So not only have I organised some special tissue paper, it's actually, you know how Squeak Show for me is, is black and peering into something which is colourful and vibrant and full of life. So black seems to be the, the theme because it's uncovering something magical inside from a very unassuming uh, exterior. So black tissue paper. And I also, because of course, you know, I can't just sort of leave an idea just, oh, well, just tissue paper, move on next muffin, please. So I had to, of course, organize some stickers. So I have now, is that the right way around? Oh, it is. It's actually showing it the right way around. So I have small squeak show stickers and bigger squeak squeak show stickers, which are for the bigger boxes, and and a special leaflet that will be sent out with every oh, whatever. God, you know this. This is like tapping your head, rubbing your head, and, and rubbing your belly at the same time. Can't do it. Anyway, so this is my my uh, leaflet, which will come out with every squeak show order for the first one anyway and it tells a little bit of the background story a link to the squeak show page on the website i only designed these on friday morning um put in the order banana print they're excellent uh put the order in friday afternoon and they arrived today so it's all it's all happening it's when it's got flow like this this is when to me i know that i'm on the right path because it's just fun and easy and just uh, brilliant it's just brilliant so yes um so that's that's really the the main what, what else gosh Jacqueline has also sent me some extra little things for February's mouse so I can't tell you very much about that because it's always just such a lovely surprise when well I hope you'll find it a nice surprise uh, when I'm finally unveiling the the collectible mouse for that month but you're gonna love you're gonna love this one just just you're gonna love them all but this one is like super special super special super great um and the scenes keep changing in my head i'm sure actually i mean we're i'm probably looking to finish all the scenes uh, within the next three to four months maybe sooner if i can so i can get them photographed within well by by the summer at the latest because obviously I need to get them all sorted post-production then get them sent off and, and made up into a calendar so I'm kind of thinking I'm juggling all the months at the moment as well and but the, the ideas just keep morphing there's so many different ideas that I have it's just magical it's just wonderful so oh and we have our Spanish contingent here hola Jess que tal que tal <laughs> so lovely to um Oh, it's just lovely to share with you, you know, because again, I'm just in the workshop myself and all these ideas are burling in. And unless you're unfortunate enough to be at the receiving end of one of my long, blah, 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 just, you know, stream of consciousness emails, sorry again, Jacqueline, um, then yes, this is where you get the stream of consciousness <laughs> in real life. <laughs> Not sure whether that's a good or bad thing, but I'm very glad that you're with me anyway. So, um, I have finished the, more or less finished the, the scene for, for January and you can't see the finished one because of course it's going to be a surprise. It will be a, a big reveal, the squeak show reveal when the calendar comes out. But did you like the little mouse that I made that had been hit by the snowball? <laughs> just That just tickles me. And I will post pictures of a few of the other mice who are going to be appearing. Or taking part and I'm not sure I can fit them all in because I went a bit nuts and made lots and lots of mice for the scene and maybe just focusing on a few will be the way to go. So many ideas, so many possibilities, so many ways I could go. Uh, it's just, it's magic. So I'll share a few more pictures tomorrow uh, of, of some of the snowballing mice and of course the first of the cosy snowball mice, cosy wee snowball mice, will be turning up in the next few days by the end of the week anyway so 
and they will all be ready by the end of the month. Um, oh, it's going to be so nice to see all of them together. It's just going to be one giant snowball fight. Apparently there was a, a giant snowball fight in Leeds over the weekend because we had lots of snow. Um, I Well, I wasn't there. I wasn't in Leeds. But it was just... Yeah, I, that's how I picture all these mice having a, a gigantic... and just getting into mischief. So... Yes, and breathe. Now, I suppose the other thing, I'm, squeak, this year is not going to be all about Squeak Show, although it's going to be a big part of it. And it's lovely to be able to share it with you, obviously, all the way. But don't want you to think, those people who are not so, you know, it's some of the other wee creatures, you'd like to see lots of other different ones. Well, I can share with you some of my other ideas too. Now, it's a continuation from last Christmas, because you remember the, the little bobble ornaments that I made? Um, and I was asked to do them. They're just so lovely. I wouldn't have thought about doing it to begin with, although I've had these baubles for ages and I knew they were just waiting for the right idea to come along. So these are, they're so sweet. Just, oh, see if you can. So they're just, oh, there we go. So little glass baubles and they are glass. So they're quite fragile, but they are perfectly mouse sized and wee creature sized actually. So what I've done, Rachel has actually already sent me a forest of her mini Christmas trees, you know, from the winter trees base that she did. In fact, I've got to show you them because they're so cute. Um, here we go. I have created a little forest of them. It's so nice. Look, look at these. So I think there are 24 of them there. And uh, but they're single, they're individual ones. So that basically what I can do is attach them to some snow because I would put a little layer of snow and have a couple of trees at the back and a little snowballing mouse or a snowballing guinea pig or, you know, otters, penguins, all the creatures could fit inside those little, um, the little Christmas baubles. So I really want to make more of those and explore those and try lots of things. And I've also, there'll be not just the wooden trees, but I've also got a whole stash of um, little, um, oh, these ones, little snow covered pine trees, uh, which will be, I'm going to put, I'm going to decorate them with little baubles and there'll be little Christmas trees and they can go into the little, um, the little baubles as well. So, so they're, they're kind of on the, on the, the, I won't say on the sidelines because they're just as important as Squeak Show. They really are. But I'm kind of, I'm juggling those ideas at the same time. And it's, it's lovely to, at the moment, I feel like I'm spinning plates and I've, you know, they're fine. They're all under control. They're all up there. Um, and actually the more plates that are spinning, the more ideas that come along uh, for even more plates. And it's, it's, you know, for me, it's just like, how do I find the time to sort of do everything that I want to do? I should probably have a huge project management screen somewhere where I can chart out the ideas. But do you know, one thing I'm realizing, and I was, I'm keeping a diary as I'm going along with the Squeak Show. This is for the making of section of the eventual book. <laughs> this is how far ahead I'm thinking, but I'm not planning it as such. I'm kind of, I'm following the, the urges as they arrive and the instincts and the, oh, that sounds like fun. And that's so much better than kind of coming up with a five year plan or a, or a 12 month plan or and then being feel that you're stuck by it. And I don't want to do that at all. So it's going to be very fluid. I will be making up the, the 12 collectible mice, first of all, with for the squeak show I'm talking about now. Um, and that will they will dictate what the scenes how the scenes will eventually look i think so yes it's uh oh jenny you've just said yes <laughs> busier now than when i was in the courtroom oh for sure <laughs> my goodness i know i had a few late nights when i was a lawyer but nowhere near on this scale but it was nowhere near as much fun let's be honest and there's me thinking do i want to do a courtroom scene wouldn't that be really cute i've never I, do you know that it, it wasn't even on my list of things because I'm just going to, this is it. I carry around a notebook with me constantly because I just keep coming up with ideas which are often sparked by something somebody said or that I've seen on passing or whatever. So I'm going to write that down because you never know. If it's not this year, it'll be next year or it'll be a scene in its own right. 
it's just going to be fab. It's just going to be fab. Um, Christy, you're here from Los Angeles. I love that you're from all over the world. I think we don't have anybody from Australia on the call, but it's about like three or four in the morning out there. So I forgive you. I forgive you. But it's I love that all the the all us queernaholics are across the world. That just tickles me. That makes me very happy, I have to say, that I know that there are little pockets of happiness all over the world. So I think I, do you know, I think I might have talked myself out so quickly. This is quite something. It's, um, have you got any questions? This is not like me to be completely stumped. Well, I'm not stumped. I'm not stumped. I will keep blethering. I'll just keep muttering on as long as you let me. Uh, but now seems like a very good time to, to say if anybody has any questions that they want to ask. I have obviously scheduled in this, you know, into this particular part of the of the video chat, a chance for people to ask questions. So, uh, oh goodness, and I have actually just been, um, you'll see me okay? Yes, you can, that's fine. I'm just very technologically minded once again. So, uh, Jenny's waiting for mice with beards <laughs> and stubble. <laughs> mm, interesting idea. Um, and Rachel, you're saying that you're planning all the time. Oh, that's good. In early years education, that's good. There is a lot to be said for just, I think brainstorming, planning, I think certainly from my days as a lawyer, planning always kind of involved being quite staid about it, but no. It's it's fun just brainstorming, coming up with ideas and just seeing what's going on. We've got, oh, Jennifer's saying Christmas cracker mice. Oh, I have made them before, actually. They were, you know, with tiny, tiny little miniature crackers. So, yes, they will all appear. Can you imagine? They'd be very cute in the little bobbles, the little Christmas bobbles, too. So, there's... So this is me. I'm I'm entering my twelfth year of queerness. I know I've I've probably said, you know, gosh, it's been eleven and a half and it is so much fun. Oh, and we have ah Lynn is saying a couple of mice in love would be fab, but she has to be dressed in pink. Interesting. Well, okay. <laughs> Well, that that well, that's that straying back into February's territory, and I can't say any more than that. Zoom, stum, I am stum, I'm keeping stum. Um, but oh yes, I just I keep thinking ahead to all the various months that I've kind of got sketched out. No, they're developing, and there'll be lots of fun. And we do the th the three of us. Um, Tabitha in particular, we're working on a, a special extra scene that the wheels are in motion for that already. So that is going to be something extra above the... Now, where I put it, what happens to it, but it's going to be a really fun thing. And I can't see it either. This is to stop, actually, because <laughs> I'll just start blethering out all this all the surprise and this is what squeak show is all about it's the grand unveiling the reveal to kind of go wonder what's in there wonder where it's going to go oh well this is a cozy snowball mouse but what's it going to be like what's what scene is he going to be in that's that's the exciting part that's what i can't wait to share eventually done anyway ah so jenny's suggesting we tigers well if you want tigers go have a look at holly's page she's got done the most beautiful, beautiful portraits of, of some tigers in a zoo. They're just beautiful, just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So have to have a look at that. And a wee recorder mouse, Rachel's suggesting. Now, are you meaning a musical recorder mouse or some a mouse that's using a tape recorder? <laughs> I'm guessing it's a recorder mouse. Um, yes, because actually one of the things I'm going to be playing with, like no pun intended, I'm going to be, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have a play with uh, epoxy resin. Now the, the thinking behind this, I want to make most of the accessories myself or with one of my compadres who will be making the accessories with me. But, you know, to sort of continue the whole home handmade and, you know, super special, something which is really, really special and very and a bit different from from any of the creatures that I've done before. So I'm playing with epoxy resin for a few of the accessories 
to go with the mice. So actually, a recorder could well um, that that could work because I could I could mold I could actually um, create a miniature recorder in polymer clay, bake it, create a mold from it, and then you know it would have to be a tiny 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 mold, and then use epoxy resin, tinted epoxy resin to create a recorder. So yes, I'm thinking the epoxy resin will be also used for bathtub creatures as well. I have a few bubble baths to replenish because the bubbles that I have used previously uh, have a finite shelf life because they are actually real bubbles hardened with a, sort of a soft resin. Um, so that's that's something which I want to, to be looking at as well. And I know Kirsty's wanting a Scottish scene and I, that would be that would be wonderful and I've just got an image in my head of mice dancing and ate some real and at a Kaylee and uh, it may not be for this calendar but it's absolutely on the list. It would be so much fun. Um, but for the Jenny you're asking about character creatures like Sherlock Mouse, not so much for this calendar uh, because I am because I'm doing the Collectors Club at the same time and I want to do a mouse that's inspired by each of the scenes, I couldn't just make, you know, 40 or 50 That would just be, that, I would just not be doing anything else except making Sherlock mice. It, but it would be something lovely to do because can you imagine like a, a, a Victorian scene or like the modern version, but, you know, to have two wee Sherlock mice walking into the distance, that would be a, a wonderful idea for a scene in its own right. And I know that Jacqueline has made some wonderful scenes with her character mice, like the Adam and the Ants, <clears throat> excuse me, Adam Ant is one of her favourite singers, and I've made a few Adam Ant mice for her. Go check back and, and look at the scenes that she's made so far. So I did a couple of Wham mice and some mice from Hamilton too. I'm sure there were others. Uh, so yes, perhaps, oh, this might be an idea actually. Perhaps a calendar, um, an idea would be like uh, um, a wee bit famous. You know, that's that's the name of my album on the Flickr page for all my character creatures. And if I made a calendar with scenes of famous creatures. Now, I wouldn't necessarily be able to do a collector's club alongside it, but I could certainly do the scenes. Hmm. Just write this down again. This is great. Ah, you see, this is why I love these chats. Saying a sound of music scene would be great. Well, yes, and I have actually made, uh, oh, what's her name? Uh, Hills are alive, singer, you know, you know what it is. Somebody will, somebody will jump in and say, I have made a Maria. Okay, so I've made a Maria mouse uh, singing, you know, sort of dancing around and all the rest of it. That would be brilliant. Absolutely. Right. Okay, that's the next calendar sorted then. If not a calendar, it'll be added into the book because I would love to do this, this, this book, a squeak show book, which will be filled with pictures of the scenes, not just from the calendar, but from any other scenes I make and I, I'm really really enjoying making these scenes and yeah so okay a wee bit famous calendar or scenes excellent check brilliant thank you for that see it's very helpful I have always thought that um, the, one of the really brilliant things about queerness is the collaborative aspect of it because I feel like we're we're creating queerness, you know, we're kind of playing off each other, building ideas, coming up with suggestions, and it's all just, it becomes where the, the, the whole is greater than the sum of the parts. I always have to think before I say that, but that, that's where it, that's where the magic is made. Absolutely. And, um, oh gosh, yes, you're Jon Snow, my, of course, Jon Snow, Game of Thrones. There's an avenue which I've never been down, but it's kind of called me a few times. So, uh, yes, Jacqueline, I made a I made a John Snow mouse for her, and that if you put that into a scene, I don't think you have, or have you? You might have. I hope no, I don't think you have. But there's another good idea. That would be so much fun. And Julie Andrews, thank you, Christy. <laughs> 
just could not, could not get my head around her. Remember the name of the character, but not the actual actress. Apologies. So, yes, yeah, so movie mice, absolutely. Do you see, you see where I'm coming from that there's not enough hours in the day. There's so many ideas, so many things to do. I am looking forward very much to this. So, oh, Jenny's saying, when I run out of ideas, I can put you down for a resin coffee table with a wee creature scene. <laughs> You're not thinking about putting the, the mice in the wee creatures, in the resin, are you? Because <gasps> I couldn't do that. Couldn't do that. But if you could had, can you imagine actually a coffee table, a resin coffee table, and you could have like little areas and you know like that would be the floor of the scenes and then you could move the wee creatures around oh chess 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 mice i've been one or chess creatures i've been wanting to do this for such a long time too oh, book characters with a little bit absolutely basically character creatures and it oh this this opens up so many ideas uh, yes of course we'd have to have a bit of brave heart i did do a brave heart cat many many moons ago probably about at least 11 maybe 12 even years ago 11 and a half 11 11 years ago i did do a, a brave heart cat <laughs> at one point and last night i was actually um i was i was telling enrique about the uh, the han solo in carbonite cat that i made don't ask me why i don't know why i don't know who's got them um I'm not sure where in the world they are. I have a feeling that they're, they're still in Yorkshire somewhere. But I did a little cat encased in carbonite, you know, which was a plaster cast, which I then... I must post these pictures because when I look back to them, I mean, I was trying everything. I was trying all sorts. But I love the character mice that I do. And the mice are really the best at being in character. So that is a definite, definite, definite idea. So definitely we're Right, I am. I have talked myself out now, <laughs> surprisingly enough, but thank you so much. Look, you've heard it all here first. The Grinch and Dr. Zeus, there is no end. You know, for as long as there are movies and books and characters, and I'm never going to be stuck for anything, am I? Particularly not with you guys that are just fabulous and bringing it all here. So, And Alice in the Wonderland, now that's been something I've been thinking about for ages. In fact, I have done a little dormouse sleeping in a teapot a long time ago. <laughs> See, it's kind of these. This ah, oh yeah, that this is going to be lots of fun. But Squeak Show first of all, Squeak Show, which is opening the doors to all sorts of amazing and wonderful ideas. So, once again for joining me, it's a delight. It always is a delight. So uh, next time, I promise I'll be doing a, a demonstration of something or someone, don't know what, don't know where, don't know who, don't know why, but we'll be doing one then. And I've also started, I'm going to start uploading all these live videos onto YouTube as well. I've got a channel there. So you, if you miss it, and if you're not on Facebook, which is a bit redundant, because of course, if you're watching this, then you are on Facebook. But anyway, those of you who aren't, um, will be able to see them in in youtube as well i doubt i'll do backdated ones unless i have time on my hands which I don't know that i can ever see that happening but uh, i will start uploading them from now so that you know ones from the, the the last one i included and i'll put this one on and subsequent ones and 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 you know where i'm going so there we go right i shall um see you all soon i'll post tomorrow another sneaky peek of uh, the another january scene mouse and thanks again it's just wonderful life is good take care of yourself see you soon